Hello and welcome to this carbon footprint video. My name is Joel and I shall be talking to you about our Scope 3 assessment and Scope 3 target setting offerings. The purpose of this is to find out your Scope 3 supply chain emissions. The way we do it is by looking at the spend of your company in its entirety. As such, the data capture pack requires that you fill out the total spend for each SIC group. That's standard industrial classification codes. Our data capture pack breaks this down for you. If you want greater accuracy or want to go a bit further into the areas where you have high emissions, we can do this for you as well. If you tell us how much was spent on individual items for each SIC group. However, this will cost a little extra. Here is an example of some dummy data. This is so that we can give you an idea of what results you will get. The inspiration for this dummy data is a construction company. The pie chart shows the breakdown of the company's emissions. As you can see, manufacturing makes up the greatest proportion of these emissions at 65%. If this company wanted better accuracy on its data, this is where it should focus its attention. Smaller emission sources are put into a category called other. Your supply chain footprint can then be added to your overall carbon footprint. Once this has been done, we can forecast your emissions forward. We do this by forecasting the emissions factors and using knowledge of what's going on in the markets to estimate what reductions will take place. As you can see, up until 2040 emissions gradually decrease, then after this point they decrease down to zero at 2050. We believe this will be the case, as once we get to this point there should be plenty of carbon neutral organisations that you can swap your supply chain to. If you would like more information on Scope 3 assessments or Scope 3 target setting, please give us a call or email us at info at carbonfootprint.com.